Okay, hello everyone, Louis here once again, and today I'm going to be doing an update video on one of my older tutorials, which was on how to make capture the gem maps in Troia. Because of patch 1.1.2, the old version of T-Edit, which was T-Edit 2 point something, um, none of those work anymore, so you need a newer version, which is T-Edit 3.1 and so on. So, um, this is probably going to be the T-Edit which most people are going to be using now, since it's the only one I can use with the newest version of Terraria. So, first off, just download this from the description below. Just download whichever one's the newest. It'll probably be um, 3.1 point something. You can see which version I've got right here. Then just extract it to wherever the hell you want. So, I'm just going to extract it on the desktop, but of course, I don't recommend this. Actually, I'm going to put it into a folder quickly, so T-Edit, because this is actually the first time I have done this myself as well. So, just add it into a folder. And then just drag all the files in, just like that. And once you've done that, um, in fact, first off, we're going to generate a new world on Troia. So open up Troia and just generate a new world. So last tutorial, I did actually make a small world, which kind of made it a bit weird because I couldn't get the measurements quite right. This time, I think I'll just make a uh, large world. So I'll delete that one. That was the one I did earlier. And create a new large world. I'm just going to call it world one and wait for it to generate. Um, because of an update, um, in T-Edit, it does actually make it easier to make these maps. If you watched the previous tutorial, you actually had to use a Terraria Viewer along with T-Edit so that you could put the torches in all the corners of the room and stuff, but uh, with this version, it's kind of better, it's kind of worse. The UI's changed a bit, but it's pretty similar to the old version of T-Edit, so if you are, you know, familiar with that, then it's pretty simple. So once you've done that, just don't press anything else and minimize that. Um, then we're just going to open up T-Edit, T-Edit X and A. And as you can see, if you have sort of older version of Tierra, it is quite a bit different. And I don't quite know how to use it 100%, but it's got some cool new features. And I'll go over a few of those, not all of them of course, in just a second. So let's open up World 1. Um, obviously for, if you've got a few worlds, it'll probably just be the newest world if you don't rename them. But my come here says it's World 1, since it is the only world I have got. So, uh, there's quite a few different things. I'm going to be doing kind of a small overview of how Tierra works. Um, this, of course, yeah, would just be the zone where the harpies are. If anyone's wondering why that looks like that, it kind of looks the same as the selection thing. It's a bit weird, but that's how it works. So the first thing we're probably going to want to do is just rename it to CTG. There's a few new features, like you can do all this stuff here. Um, there wasn't this many. You can change the name of NPCs, which might be useful if you're doing a roleplay thing, perhaps. Um, we've got sprites here. You can add some cool sprites, like the tree, so you don't need to... You couldn't really do anything before in regards to sprites. It was a sprite player, so I didn't quite know how to use it. And as you can see when you zoom in, you can actually see a lot more detail on things like this. You can see what the grass looks like, so it's a lot easier to edit. Um, but that's pretty much it for the changes. Um, how I'm moving around right now is by holding middle click, by the way. So just hold middle click and move a bit. And although this map doesn't look too good... Uh, I guess I could start over here, that'll be quite fine, that's in the middle. So, we'll start over here, so first thing we're going to do to actually get the objects to place down, just go to clipboard and then click on import schematic or image. Um, this, I don't think it'll go here by default. Um, let me see, actually it will go here by default, I made these myself earlier. So, actually I'll go over that quickly as well. So, when you go in the description you'll see a download for these three here, it'll be in a raw, it's called, I don't know what I'm going to call it, Skirm. Schematics. So it's just going to be called schematics. Just bring it to wherever you want. Um, you probably should bring it to this uh, this um, path here. This is where it goes by default when you press this button. So bring this raw file to this path and then just right click and extract here. And then you'll have these three right here. So actually I should probably just leave that because I need to upload that still. So you'll have these three. Of course the blue is just a blue base. Mid is the middle base kind of thing with all the stuff inside it. And red is finally the red base. So um, I'm going to... Just try to find a good point where you can put the middle. So in my case, I think I'll just put it over here. You can't actually import multiple at once for some reason anymore. Um, that might be added eventually, but you have to do them individually, which kind of sucks. But I'm just going to put the middle base here. So we're just going to scroll down, paste, and put it about here. As usual, you probably do want to make sure you delete all of the trees around it. Otherwise, we could get a bit buggy. And that seems pretty good. And once you've done that, you want to change the spawn. And to do that, you just need to click on which one is it? A pointer tool, or just point tool. Click on this and click on spawn, and then just click right here, and that will spawn you right in the middle. Um, then after we've done that, we want to spawn, well, place down the other two bases. So just put your mouse over here. You can see in the bottom left over here, um, that shows the y and x coordinates. So this 4200 is the x coordinate and the other one is the y coordinate. So we just want to do 700 feet um, each way by our rules. So 
4200 that's 3500 so about here I should do so now I'm just going to zoom in and place for base just about oh god that's right quick to stop that from doing it and put it about here and then again just delete all of the trees around it just like that and I'll delete this one just in case you can see it's pretty useful you can see with torches you can see with banners you can see with a chest um, and also a bed it's something that was just wasn't in the old version which is it's an improvement I like it um, and then 4,900 this way, so it's actually going to be in the desert, that kind of sucks, but, oh well, unlucky for them. So we'll put this one, I don't know, here, I guess should do. And a little bit of a sand so people can actually get out of the back of the base, because otherwise oh, that would suck. And there we go, that's pretty much it. You might want to change this to sand. Um, I wouldn't, though. I, even if I, I do mine in snow, I don't think it really matters too much, there's only a bit of grass. Um, and you don't really want to change it, because I could help... Um, them like have an advantage because snow is obviously harder to dig and that's pretty much it there's nothing else you need to do in the actual download um, I will have two different versions there will be a version which is the middle chest with the stuff that we normally have them in having them and also a download of the middle chest without anything I, I guess I'll just call one mid empty and one just mid to make it nice and easy so just place down whichever one you want if you use mid then of course you can put whatever the hell you want in these chests and if you use mid empty oh no it's all the way around if you use mid then it will have all the stuff that we have you know the all the wires and stuff but if you just want to put your own stuff in them then it will be called mid empty and you can put whatever you want in that and by the way in the mid chest uh, we'll have Eight hard crystals per team, I think, because 4v4s are pretty standard amount for a CTG, so that's what'll be in there. And as someone corrected me, this actually means the guide right here, not the spawn. So, but that's a well, where about you're gonna spawn anyway. But that's pretty much it. So I'll just go on this world quickly. Make sure you go back and then back forward again. Otherwise, actually, I haven't even saved it. What the hell am I doing? I'm just gonna save as CTG. Save and then I need to delete the old one. So once you've saved that, just it does make a few new folders like schematics and stuff, but just ignore those. I can't believe I don't need that anymore. And just delete the old one, which is this one, and then you can open it up in Terraria. I just called it C, did I? Yeah, apparently I called it C. Okay, CTG. That was silly. Okay, I've somehow managed to do that again. There we go. Save. And back and then forward, and I've got something on this character. And as if by magic. In a few seconds. Come on. There we go. So you can see we've got all the stuff in here. Ignore all of my items, are all legit. Um, yeah, that's it's all in there, and everything's good to go. It's a lot easier. Oh god, you can't even open a store. Van the old version of T Edit, but of course you might be a bit confused by a few things. So I hope that helped you guys kind of learn a bit more about T Edit Free, and I'm guessing it's not going to go T Edit Four for a long, long time, if ever. So. I probably won't be able to make, well, won't have to make another video on how to do it. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any problems, which you shouldn't do because this is kind of easier, then just leave, um, I don't know, PM us or just say what the problem is in the comment section below. Um, all the downloads will be in the description along with a step-by-step -step tutorial kind of thing if you guys did miss out on a step or, I don't know, I might revamp it or something to make it simpler in the step-by-step -step tutorial. So, I recommend looking at the description. But thanks a lot for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, please remember to like and stuff. Um, and subscribe for more Troy goodness, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.